Hi everybody, it's Indy the Scrapologist. Thank you again for coming back to my channel and um, thank you most of all for all of your wonderful comments. I love hearing your comments and suggestions so keep them coming and um, I have just a quick how-to today with something that I've been experimenting with. I'm really excited about it. I haven't seen anybody else do it. I think I came up with this on my own but I'll probably hear from somebody, oh, I've been doing this way, this for ages. <laughs> but um, I didn't watch a video. I didn't see any videos on how to do this. I did look. Um, but none of us really are original at this point, right? Everything's been done. But I want to show you what I've been doing. So I took out this vintage, uh, vintage sewing pattern paper. Come on, Cindy. Come up with the words. And it had this old tape on it and I've kind of been saving it because I wanted to try to mimic this. I love this old tape look especially on tissue paper and pattern uh, sewing pattern paper. So here's I'm going to show you a couple of my I guess you can call them flops first. They didn't turn out to look like this but it's a technique I'll still use. So I'm just using regular scotch tape and the first thing I did was I wondered if I used some ink if on the sticky side how that would turn out. I wondered if it would still adhere to the paper and it does. So you can take tape and you can use any color that you want. Here I'm using vintage photo and you can just kind of press it down on the ink pad. and then put it on your project and you have kind of a cool aged effect there. Of course it doesn't look like the other one but this is kind of neat and you can use a variety of colors. So maybe I want to use this color. I really didn't think that it would still adhere if I did this to the sticky side. So that's one way of doing it. The other thing I tried was putting the tape down and then inking on top of it on the glossy side. So I kind of did this. And it really doesn't do a lot. And it doesn't, um, yeah, it's just rather shiny. So here's what I ended up doing. Oh, the other thing is, well, yeah, anyway, here's what I ended up doing. I took, let me move some things out of the way here. I took a piece of waxed paper and I put the tape down on my waxed paper because the one thing about doing it this way is it, it doesn't stand out because you're also inking of course this isn't a good example because I'm doing it on a strip of scrap of coffee stained paper but you're also inking the paper around it so the tape doesn't stand out you're, you're sort of blending everything in so I thought well I want to just put ink on the tape. I know you can't see this, but I want to just put ink on the tape and then be able to peel the tape up and put it on my project. The other thing that I realized is that when things age, we say that they have yellowed sometimes. So I felt that just the vintage photo wasn't going to be enough. I thought that I needed either a yellow or something in that color family. So the color combination that worked for me was a little bit of the vintage photo and then a little bit of this, I don't know what you would call it, kind of a, is there a name on here? Let's see. Oh, this is called amber. It's an amber color sort of a burnt orange almost. And I sort of put that on there and then took, for rags I use my husband's old socks, <laughs> and then I just kind of blended that in and look how 
perfect. Now we can just peel it off and put it, oh the other thing is I don't like the edges to be perfect. I want to tear them off a little bit and it looks, look at that, I mean to me it looks very similar. The only thing that's missing, this was my next thought, I, I think the color is perfect, but this is all crackled because it's so old. So what do we have in our stash? A lot of us, we have this, crackle accents. So I started experimenting with this and I just put a little bit on there and rub it into a smooth layer. Try not to get it on my book because I just want it on the tape. Okay, and you should let this air dry. If you use your heat gun, which I did experiment with that, it melts the adhesive and it kind of gets gooey. So I'm not going to do that. So once this air dries, you really, really get a piece of vintage tape. I think. I'm excited. It doesn't really show up terrifically well on the camera, but let's see if I can get it to focus a little better. It's really hard to show it on the camera. And the crackle hasn't dried yet. Let me see if I can dry it just a little with my heat gun. Just a little. I don't want to make it bubble up either. Yeah, it's best not to get impatient. <laughs> I'll just let it dry naturally. So there we go. You've got a cool piece of vintage tape that you can now put on your projects. So thanks for watching. I hope you try this. It's lots of fun and super easy. See you later.